Welcome to an out of the box unboxing. This is a bit of an impulse buy that I picked up the other day, arrived yesterday. This is, I saw this on another Facebook post and I thought, hey, new zombie game. This is Until Daylight. It's a really chunky box. Um, it says it's for three to six players, 60 minutes, 14 plus. It's cooperative. Um, that's what I can tell it runs in real time. So there's a timer and an app to help with the timing. Um, but yeah, I saw a new zombie game and I was intrigued. And so let's see what we get inside the box. It can't be played easily cooperative. Perhaps I'll have to make a solo variant. So this is a chunky box. Hopefully there'll be lots of goodness in here. Okay, so we've got so we've got a rule book. Oh, icon index on the back is always handy. I like a good index. Okay, daylight. Lots of what's in the box. How to play. Accumulating ammunition. It's got dice. I like dice. I guess I'll get to read that. I'll probably do a playthrough at some point if people are interested. Um, read this before your first game. Okay. At some point. Um, oh, okay, so now we've got some. These look like turn summaries. And a crafting guide to building things. Oh, wow, looks like we're building catapults. That's interesting. Um, and then these are big tokens. Really, oh, really solid. This is really high quality cardboard. Um, very chunky. So these look like health dials. Why have we, oh, there's a big gap. Okay, so now we've got characters. Hipster. Okay, oh, so the whole thing, oh, well, this is gonna be a bit of assembly required because the dials, and it looks like they sandwich in together. That's interesting. So we've got oh, the hipster, Frigger, oh, the psycho, Drifter, and someone's already got out. Hagler. Okay, so there's got bits at the top and the bottom for assembling. That's cute. I like that. Um, and what else we've got? We've got uh, these are for the um, dials. And if you saw my last, well, my last video, a recent video on Nemesis Lockdown, how I got the dials run the wrong way. I will be doing this very carefully because removing the dials afterwards is a bit of a pain. I'm just having a look and seeing if it's got instructions on how to put the dials together. Mm, I guess not. Well, it has got instructions on the back of the card. So on the back of these, it tells you how to put them together. So I guess I will um, have a play with that later. Um, I've got dice. <coughs> So those look like all the pointy bits, and these are the the other sides, the males and the females. Okay, what have we got for the dice? That's a big chunky one. And we've got two, six, like zombie and um, X on them. Yeah, nice dice, good feel to them, like the chunky one. And the rest of the box, oh, there's a timer. So that's got sand in it. And I think, like I say, there's an app that all you can use as well. And then on this side, we have got lots of cards. I mean, lots of cards. And um, they look like they'll easily all fit back in sleeved is great because I do like sleeping my cards. I'm just going to make sure that this is all in focus. There we 
goes. There we go. Zoomed in a bit better. And let's have a look at some of these cards. So, um, okay, so these look like these standard um, magic size cards. But we'll have a look and see what we get. Yeah, minimal, minimalistic art, but um, they look good. The characters look really funny, actually. I'm not sure that a zombie apocalypse is going to be that funny. Let's have a look. What have we got? Uh, they double-sided dog. Well, I got a magic card out, so let's have a look. Yeah, they are pretty much the same size as a magic card. And they're thin actually, and it's funny the um, the tokens really thick cardboard, high quality. These are much thinner than a magic card. Um, they got a bit of a velvety linen, sorry, linen-y type feel, um, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to sleeve them all and it's sleeved. Mm. They might. They're not going to fit sideways. But there seems to be lots of room, so I'm not too bothered about getting everything back in the box. So what have we got? We've got some dogs, a zombie walking a poodle, a zombie with a briefcase. I think they call them infected actually, so they don't talk about zombies. Wanderers, I guess that's your non-copyright version of a walker. I think there's a bit of a variety in the images. Um, and they seem to be all the same on the other side. So they're all, yeah, they're exactly the same on each side, as far as I can tell. Um, okay, so that was that lot. Let's have a look and see what's in this one. Get him. Slice my finger open, that'd be funny. Or not. Okay. So let's see, there's one experience, and that looks like these are the survivors. And they are the same as well on both sides. A raider. Root and a monster. Okay, so that's all your normal size cards, and then there's a whole lot of little cards. And I guess these are, I think it's a European game, so they're probably standard mini European. If we compare it to one of these. Um, magic card is about 64, so that looks like that's close to 66 height, so 66, 67, 68 height. Um, trigger, so these are objectives for the particular character, so you've got trigger, pull, oh maybe not, oh yeah, haggler objectives, secondary objectives, until daylight. So these are all objective cards, and on the front, oh, traitor, injured the other player. Now that will be interesting because it does say it's co-op, um, but there may be some hidden information for the objectives, so we might have to look through that if I'm playing that solo. Eliminate an enemy silently. Okay, and then you've got your traditional Baseball bat, machete. And again, these are really nice, nice looking artwork. Very, um, very refined, very kind of um, cartoonish. Cartoonish, but um, not overwhelming, you know, kind of minimalistic. So 
That's a whole lot of objective cards. Let's see what else we've got. There's a lot of cards. So if you are thinking of sleeving them, um, I wonder if it says actually. Sometimes they say how many bits and bobs you get. Here we go. Um, 18 plus 30, 185 rubble cards. So that's 215, 200 and all the hold cards. Yeah, you're probably looking at about two, 200, nearly 300. That's a lot of little cards. Particularly if they get in come packs of five, 50s. Anywho. So on this side we've got, oh, okay. So these look like they are, they're all the same on the back, so until daylight. And these are planks. And this looks like the construction. So this was the, um, what we saw on the back here, the construction craft guide for crafting things, crafting weapons, um, crafting barricades and traps. And okay, so this is a whole lot of different things that we can collect. Organic bar, planks, abilities, nails, focus. Okay, so that's for that one. And what have you got here? Um, did say 185, so I imagine um, this is more of the same. Lots of little cards. And these have all got until daylight on the back. Um, firecrackers, shotgun shells, ammo, bombs. Combine with detonator, 12 combat dice. Ignore the X. It's like fun. Gun ammo, axe, shells. This is looks like it's a real, it does say on the front. What does it call? It says search, fight, survive. So it looks like there's a significant portion of scavenging for stuff because there's a lot of stuff to be found. Um, how will that fit in the box? I wonder if these are all going to fit sleeved. Yeah, it seems like there's plenty of room. Um, whether you can keep them all in order, there's no kind of partitioning or anything. Um, oh, I might be inclined to um, box some of these at some point. Maybe I'll throw the dice in there just to stop them falling over. Anyway, there we go. That is quite a lot of box full of stuff, um, lots of cards, timer, um, lots of dials and things to make. So I guess I'll be doing that in a minute. Um, and that is what you get inside the box of Until Daylight. Um, I'll have a play through it, see if I can do it solo. If I can't, um, we'll make some variant rules be a playthrough at some point, even if I just do it multi-handed. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe.